I'm going to model this tin can, and uh, this was a request. I've been asked if I would do some sort of product um, marketing things. I've done a couple of uh, a couple of things with decals or whatever, and uh, now I'm going to model this tin can. And uh, there's lots of different styles, and so that gives us the freedom to you know kind of do our own thing and not follow the diagram uh, perfectly if we run into trouble or whatever. Um, so this is the image that I'm going to use and uh, it's called the realistic 3D tin can mock-up set <laughs> top and side vector um, so I'll link to that and uh, hopefully you'll be able to find that if you want to use that um, in order to get it to fit into blender the way I like I've made this where I'm going to be using a top view a front view and a bottom view okay with some numbers in here so I'll uh, provide this for you you can uh, download this I guess and then you can search for that that image uh, I'm not going to put it on my server uh, you can get that if you want to follow along with the exact same one okay so here we go I'm gonna get rid of everything here and I'm gonna go to 7 for the top view Okay, I'm going to hit N, and I'm going to open up this, and I'm going to come on over here to background, add image. For views, I'm going to choose top, and for the image, I'm going to try to find that thing, reference image. Okay, as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of different ones. So there it is, and I want to get it to fit. So come over here to top, and I want to use these numbers, minus 2.08 and 224. So... Minus two, minus two point zero eight and two point two four, I believe. And also for the size, I want uh, nine point eight. Nine point eight. And that should roughly give us uh, what we need to do the top part. Okay. So I'm going to choose uh, add image again, and for views, we'll do the bottom now, and I'll just choose that same image. And for bottom, we want size we leave that at 10 and then I'll do front view okay so we got top we got bottom and one more and this will be for the front view okay minus 2.18 minus 2.18 minus 0 0.3 I believe uh, and then, by the way, I can press 1 to be testing these. I'm looking at this one. And the size is going to be 10. Oh, that can't be right. Uh, just 0 0.3, right? 0 0.3. Oh, okay, that puts it at the bottom. Let's hit N to close that. Okay, so I would have my front view and the top view 7. Bottom view is that one roughly anyhow so I'm gonna to go to the front view all right and we are going to start modeling I'm gonna save that first start modeling and I'm gonna start with the circle shift a circle I'm gonna choose 22 vertices I'm gonna go into edit mode and I'll, I'm gonna work in vertex uh, selection S to scale I'm gonna bring it out and, and you know it's not gonna follow the diagram exactly but we'll be close. And e to extrude and bring it up. And now I'm going to go Z for wireframe. And I'm going to control A and flip any polys. Okay. So I just want a little lip like that. Okay. E and S. Bring it in. Get the approximate width. Good enough. E and start coming up. That's close enough. This is our tin can. It does not have to be exactly the same as anybody else's tin can. 
Okay, so I've got that. I'm not worried about the front or the top and the bottom being the exact same width. Although you could do it that way, but I'm not going to. E and S come out. E will come up. Not too far. I'll just do it like that. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Now, um, I'm going to... I could make the top and the bottom the exact same, but I'm not going. I'm going to go out of uh, wireframe, and I'm going to hit uh, 7. And as you can see, uh, it's not perfectly scaled, and I think I might make it a little bit bigger. We'll see. Uh, but first, I'm going to go E and S, and I'm going to come in just a little bit past there. And I'm going to go E, and I'm going to just bring it down a ways. I might even go back up by one and S a little bit more in. Is that going to be too thick? Let's see. Hopefully not, and then we'll add a subdivision surface. Um, I'm going to go back in and look at the bottom here. I'm going to shift alt and click there. That's the bottom. And I go E and S. And come in. I can hit control 7 to look at the bottom. S. Oh. And I'm going to go E and I'm going to bring it. So it's like a little bit of a lip there when I add the other the, the top and the bottom panels. All right, so this is what we have. Look at the top view. I might globally go S and scale the whole thing out a tiny bit. Like that. And then if you go um, Control-7 for the bottom view, it uh, relatively matches. I could change the size of, of these a bit, but I'm not too worried. You could come over to, uh, to here if you wanted and go to the bottom let's say let's say the, the first first of all the top you know you feel it matches the bottom yeah it's not the right size we could go uh where is this it's the bottom for size we could go 9.9 .9. we could try that and that'll adjust the position and stuff like that a little bit too so i'm just going to leave it like that cool okay so front view again all right, let's add subdivision surface of two with smoothing. And we'll come in and we'll look at wireframe as well. And I'm going to bring in two edge loops and a scale in the Z like this. And uh, I'm just going to come out for a second and see what we'll uh, do some work on here. I'm going to put an edge loop right there. And um, I'm going to put an edge loop here. Let's see how sharp that looks. I don't want it too, too sharp. I might leave it rounded like that for now. But I probably need another edge loop up here just to support that a little bit. Okay, I'll, I'll repeat at the bottom. I'll bring down one more edge loop. And where did I put them? In the bottom. So I might put an edge loop here. And one here. Okay, maybe that's a bit wide. Um, you know... I'm all right with that for now. I'm not going to do anything else with uh, the top or the bottom. Let's go back and look at front view and in wireframe and edit mode. Let's make the uh, the bumps. Now, of course, if we were putting a label on this, we might not do that. Um, you know, although when you peel the label off, you often will have that. Um, but anyways, let's. Um, I'll put two edge loops and scale in the Z. We'll see how it doesn't have to match this exactly. All right, we're going to get that effect. Okay. And uh, now we're going to make the little bumps. So control R and I'm going to roll my mouse wheel up a bunch of times and I'm not doing the exact same number, but I'm just going to do that. What have I got? You can read down the bottom left there. It says number of cuts 12. I'm going to leave it like that. 
Okay, and I'm gonna switch to edge selection. I gotta get all these, select all these edges, not the top or the bottom one. Leave that as a support loop. Okay, so I got those. Control B, pull back to get a size that you like about there. E, Alt S, pull them out, but not too much. Just a little bit like that. Ta-da. And there we have it. Very nice and simple. Okay. I think we are going to make the bottom of this first. So I'm going to go Control-7 and have a look. All right. Uh, so I see what's going on. The subdivision surface has constricted it, contracted it a little bit. Let's have a look at the top view. Mm, top view looks a bit better. No. I just want to have a look at these numbers again. Top view, put my size at 9.8. I might mess with these a little bit the more I think about it. I might try 9.8. Oh, let's go to 207. And just see what's moved. Okay, so it's moved over a little bit. Let's try uh, 2.36. Right. 2.35. All right, let's try this one as well. 2.25. 2 2.26. 2 2.34. Wow, we're going to get this better. 2.33. 2.34. Two point two five. Oops. Just so it's a little nicer. So, yeah, I've changed my numbers a bit, and uh, you know, and we'll see. I might just still provide it like that, and we'll, you have to do stuff like that. All right, no big deal, anyhow. So I'm gonna select this, and I'm gonna go to edit mode, and this like that. And where's my front? There's my front. So my bottom is right there. And I am going to select this edge right here. Shift Alt and click that edge. Shift D and P. Break it out, make it a new object. Select it and set origin of geometry. I'm gonna hide that. And I have just the edge, which is essentially a circle. Uh, control seven to look from the bottom. And there it is. Now I'm gonna add S, I'm gonna scale it out a little bit more so it kind of embeds into that. Right there, and so now I'm going to go into edit mode and vertex, and let's have a let's have a look. Now, sometimes it's hard to tell from the diagrams, but this one is relatively nice. You can see it kind of slopes up, and there's a point, and it slopes down, it slopes up, it slopes down. So let's go E and S. Uh, and I'm going to come right to there. All right, I'll put an edge loop there. E and S. To there uh, okay so let me just stop for a second and I can put an edge loop there and an edge loop there those ones come up come up okay shift on click that E and S so let's come out to that one that's the one that's gonna go up and then I'm going to go E and S come a little ways from that and Maybe we'll just go like that, and then E and oh, we'll try Alt M on them. We'll get center. We'll try that. So that Shift Alt and click that one. That one comes up. Shift Alt and click that one. That one comes up. And I bet it's gonna be that one. Let me just make sure. Let's go H to hide. And then that doesn't help me. Let's uh, come out. They're still selected, and that's H to hide. That one, that one. Let me put my mouse over. Uh, uh, that one, eh? Yeah, we got all the ones that, that will come up. Okay, so I'm going to come like this, and I'm going to go E. I'm going to bring them up a little bit. Oh no, I didn't want to go E. I just want to have them selected and just 
bring them up. Let's look actually in solid view. Okay, basically like that. And then I'm going to come back in, and I think with all those selected, I'm going to go Shift D, and I'm going to pull and increase the uh, you know, and the mean crease uh, right there. So let's try that. Okay, let's smooth that, and we'll try putting an edge loop down there and down there. Down there, and down there, and down here. Let's see what that's looking like. Okay, just the bottom of the can. Let's pull the whole thing in a little bit. You can also um, do an edge loop. Oh, let's say, let's say, do it by bevel. Shift Alt and click that, and Control B. Is my original? No, I did, did nah, Okay, never mind. You could also bring an edge loop up on each side of that, and we'll just look at that effect and see if that's what we like. Does that, does that get it too sharp? It's a little bit. That is a little bit sharp, isn't it? You could do it on one side. I'll bring one in, and we'll try it out. It's not too close, and I think I'm going to go with that. All right, kind of a little bit subtle. Okay, so I'll bring it down a little bit more and just make sure that it's uh, underneath this part right there. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I think I like that. All right, let's start working on the top. The top is a little, a little bit different now. Uh, let's grab that edge. Shift D. P. Find it, set origin to geometry, and uh, I mean, I can just go Shift H to hide everything else. Seven. And um, I think, what do I want to do? I don't think I'm going to do anything. I think I'll just uh, keep the size of everything. Yeah, so mess with, mess with stuff. Yeah. Well, something to do with that hiding. So I just extruded in, and uh, I want to make this part. So now I'm just going to do this uh, by hand. I'm going to select all those points and bring them down. I'm looking for this one and this one. And they don't match up on the diagram perfectly, by the way. So I'm going to take these three. And I'm going to bring them down. And now I'm sort of lining up this one and this one and then I take this middle one and I assume it's going to be like that okay now yeah good enough okay now this is going to be a raised region and then let's shift alt and click it all right so I have this region now and um, I'm going to bring it into here so I'm going to go E and S And I'll just start moving these points around. Essentially just mirroring that. As far as I can tell. All right, so I'll shift alt and click those. Shift D, S, I'm gonna bring it into here. And grab these points here. And I'm gonna be actually straightening all of this. So I'm gonna you box select these S Y zero and then it's just just adjust a little bit and oh, what happened here so I'm gonna sh I'll bridge these edge loops I don't know if I copied or if I extruded I may have copied instead of extruded and that's what I wanted there um, Okay. So let me just get my bearings here. Let's select that edge. I think there's a point, sharp 
area there, raised area there. I'm not quite sure. Let's go like this. So in between the light and the dark, okay? So raised and raised. Right there. Raised. I need an edge loop in here. Right there, okay? Raised and raised. So let's work on that for the time being. Let's go to the side. You could do this numerically. I'm not bothering with that. Let's go Shift E and pull to give that. Okay, and let's take this area here, and um, let's just go, we'll go right in, all time. <coughs> and like we did before, let's try an edge loop, but I'm going to bring one down here, and I'm going to bring one up here. I'll try just bringing one up. This one may need more definition. And I'm going to bring another one over here. Let's see how it's starting to shape up. Let's hit smooth. Let's look. H. So this is all flat area. Down. Another point and another flat area. Flip the polys. And I think I'm going to bring an edge loop down there. And I'm going to select these. Shift Alt and click those ones. And I'm going to bring them up a bit more. it out a bit to touch the sides Could look at maybe not that. Oh, let's see if I do that one. Maybe sharpening that shift E. I'll see how that affects. I can change that. Yeah, I think that helps a little bit. It's probably okay. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll grab this and scale it back out a little bit. I'm going to take this <coughs> edge and scale it out a little bit too. Okay, and that is probably going to be my lid. It's not going to look as sharp uh, here as the vector diagram. Um, shift H. I'm just going to debate about if I want this edge and this one and this one and this one all at the same height. Let's select that one. I 
and I might so I might go uh, let's try a scale Z zero that do what I wanted it to do yeah I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna leave it the way it is that's gonna be just fine cool W, remove any doubles, nothing going on there. Oops, let's not do that. Just position it where you like it. around with this as long as you want. Until you get the desired effect. also this piece here so I'm gonna make that if we have a look at this little tab part thing here to pull the top off so many different ways that you could do this but I'm gonna do it this way I'm gonna merge these points in the center and I'm just gonna bring this up here okay and I'm just gonna go E and G and I'm gonna trace the contours roughly of this thing I'm gonna come over here do this okay and I got that I'm gonna take this E and S I'm gonna scale it like that it's gonna be all weird and then I'm just gonna move the points around and add points where I need them and I'm moving quick and that's the way it's gonna go extruding each time. Here, buddy, where we go? There we go. 
just bring this one home. Let's go SX0 and straighten those out. And have a look again just quickly. Select it, E, and extrude it up a little bit, give it some thickness, and I'm going to select uh, the uh, outer part here, maybe I'll select the inner one as well, and maybe just on the top we'll do the inner, I'm going to go control B, and give it a nice little bevel like that. I'll put one segment in there and I'm going to select that and do I have a problem right there let's have a look let's put on a subdivision surface and see what's going on here yeah okie doke yeah I didn't uh, merge that very well so let's uh, let's go out of this for a second There's always something isn't there here and see how well I can bridge these edge loops. That worked out pretty nice. Oh, sorry about that. So uh, let's take the whole thing and put it up and hopefully with the subdivision surface it'll still look okay. That, and I wanted to take this and I wanted to pull it up and hit smoothing. You know, you spend as much time as you want on these things, and uh, maybe I could take these as well. Maybe that would look better, or maybe not. Basically, you'd have that piece, and then uh, I'd go there, and I'll go uh, add a circle. 12 is even good enough. Scale it down. Go into edit mode, and uh, E and S, pull it into around the middle. E and bring it up in the Z. E and S, E and Alt M, and merge it. Select them all and flip the polys. That'll work out better in a minute. I'm gonna select that edge and bring it down a bit. Now I can put the polys. I'm gonna shift click that and go Control L modifiers and add the same subdivision surface with smoothing on. And I get that. Let's look from the side, take this piece, bring it up. And I'm going to join it to that. No, I want that Control J. I'm gonna join it to that so I've got them together. Okay? All right. Let's come back to this main layer. I've added a light and a uh, camera. And we will grab our clip and we'll move it to that first layer. Bring it up to here, where it needs to be. And I'm just putting on like a dummy material for this. All right, just, just a slightly different color. And what I want to do is I'm going to rotate this in the X a little bit, down. That's 
probably good enough. Oh, I look through the camera. Okay, I've got uh, an HDR texture uh, in here. Hit the world under, um, or I can do that again, whatever. Under color there, just open an HDR image. And if you want the lighting effects of the HDR and you don't want that to show, you can just go to ray visibility and turn off camera and then you'll get a dark background, but you'll get the uh, effect of that. So, I mean, hopefully that little tab thing looks all right to you. Okay. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. We'll come back and we'll just put some very basic materials on this and render it.